So the point of this video is going to be for people to know that soy isn't just in tofu. When I was a naive little boy years back, I used to think, well, soy is bad, but I'm not drinking soy milk. And this video isn't to debate if soy or flax seeds and other stuff are bad or not. Because they're so full of phytoestrogens compared to anything else that it's silly. And yes, phytoestrogens do affect humans. But, but, not the point of the video. So first food, peanut butter. The standard GIF or GIF, whatever you want to call it, this one. And soybean oil. And rapeseed oil. And don't let the second seed oil's name distract you too much. It's also probably with almost certainty bad for you to some extent. That's just the nature of seed oils. Nonetheless, our next contender, protein bars. When most people are looking for protein bars, they're considering two things. The macros, especially for it to be high in protein, and it being cheap. And what's cheap and high in protein? Our favorite legume, soy. But even though this estrogenic little bomb is full of protein, you have to consider that it's not a complete protein. So to counteract this, they have to mix it with some other protein like whey. So now if you look at that pure protein brand, we can see here that they love soy so much that they have it as three separate ingredients. We might say, oh, it must just be these cheapo protein bars. No, this trend is fairly consistent. So Cliff protein bars, Build protein bar, and it goes on and on. Our next food, but more of a supplement, protein powder. I've heard many people recommend this one, especially on apps like TikTok and other social media. Gold standard protein. And what do we see? Well, not only are you paying a lot for this, but you're also being spoon-fed phytoestrogens. And I don't want to bore you too much, so you can guess that this trend is fairly consistent with other protein powders as well. Next is beef jerky. If you look at the Jack Link's original flavor, we see soy. Obviously, why not? And if we look at the Slim Jim sticks, what do we see? soy and sadly even in small quantities soy is still very potent because i showed you guys just how much soy outnumbers any other legume and micrograms we're talking about over a hundred thousand phytoestrogens per cup compared to one digit numbers for other legumes black beans are on the higher end of phytoestrogens and they come at nine yes you heard me nine soy has over a hundred thousand black beans have nine per cup you'd have to eat over eleven thousand cups of black beans in order to even match one cup of soy but moving on have you guys noticed something all of these foods who do you see eating peanut butter protein bars protein powder beef jerky gym guys guys who want to build muscle they want to be masculine they want to have high testosterone they like going to the and gym they're consuming all this phytoestrogen and keep in mind so far i've only talked about soy i'm not talking about the fact that the stuff is in plastic i'm not talking about all the other contaminations that it goes through next food is any junk food and not just junk food but restaurant food because yeah mcdonald's burger king they throw soy all over the place but the thing that gets soy into your restaurant food is the fact that they like to cook with soy they pretty much always use vegetable oil and anything that's derived from plants can be a vegetable oil so it doesn't even have to be about vegetables because legumes aren't technically vegetables but soybean oil is considered a vegetable oil and you can mix a bunch of vegetable oils together and it would still be considered vegetable oil so when you go at walmart and you see like these these giant plastic gallons of vegetable oil what that pretty much means is mystery meat but the vegetable oil pretty much everybody is using is soybean oil because soy is plant-based so you can call it a vegetable oil so sometimes these gallons of vegetable oil are actually only soybean oil but usually you'll see a blend of soybean oil and canola oil and then maybe sunflower or safflower oil but it's pretty much always gonna have canola and soybean because those are their favorites and yes canola oil is bad for you as well but moving on chocolate Starting with cockroaches and soy, I mean Hershey's, we see once again our celebrity legume, soy. Reese's peanut butter cups? Oh, soy too. Well, maybe not Snickers. Snickers wouldn't do that. Oh, soy. Milk Way? Kit Kat? I think you understand what I'm trying to say. Soy is everywhere. I've even seen it in lollipops. But I really don't want you to say this. Well, soy is everywhere. It's impossible to avoid. I really don't like when people say that because that really isn't true. What they actually mean when they say that is eating better isn't enough of a priority because it's not the most difficult thing in the world and it's not that expensive. People think eating good is expensive. It isn't. It just takes a little bit more effort and a little bit more time and really not that much more. And of course, it's going to be harder because there's actually nothing easier than going to Walmart and just buying whatever is the tastiest and instead going into multiple stores, scouting, looking, reading labels, buying locally, going to farmer's markets when you can. It's not hard. It's just harder than simply throwing soy mayonnaise into your shopping cart. And that's it. Have a good day.